Hello, it's Vicki LaRoe. Yes, with another estate sale video, but I promise this is going to be the last one, uh, definitely for a while. And then next week we will get back to our regular jewelry making type of content. I am just currently trying to get this uh, estate sale collection completed. It's kind of a special circumstance. And I'm, so I'm trying to kind of hurry and get all this done. And I make a video for a lot of the categories so that I can share more information, but I don't always put them on YouTube. I'm only going to put it on YouTube if I think that there's some other kind of informational, educational uh, type of info in there as well. Uh, so hopefully this is uh, something helpful. It's always fun to look at beads and jewelry though. This collection is of kits, right? So if you this is the same uh, estate sale and uh, a few days ago we did the seed bead collection that was almost 600 items of different seed beads that we went through all those and then here is what she made with them this is a lovely collection of different uh, kits projects and there's 20 of them here and then I've got a few like bonus uh, things I'm going to throw on and I will share at the end, but uh, I'm going to go through kind of all of these uh, one by one, but just like the seed beads, I'll leave a link in the description below and the listing on the website has kind of close up pictures uh, where I've taken the kits, kind of the materials out of the bag and given a little more information. So you can always find out more details using the link in the description. I will not be on camera again, of course. I am still showing off or wearing my Lucite flower bracelet because it is our next online class, depending on when you're watching this, but we're planning uh, to be on Saturday, August 26th. For those that uh, purchase one of the kits in advance and reserve one of the kits, I'll be creating the lucite colors next week i'll be dyeing them and then i will make a video to show the color stories i'm not sure if i'll put that on video that's or on youtube that's normally for people that have ordered so they can choose their color i will show you that um right besides the bracelet there's a little earring you know option you can add on this is a large one there's a smaller one too. I'm trying to get that in the light. It's very pretty. You can do a smaller one. There's also a cool, like you can also use this as a pendant. I'm going to kind of use your imagination with me by using two bracelets, right? So you can do two bracelet kits, uh, one for the other side and use it as a pendant. Neat, huh? So there's a lot of different kind of add on options and uh, all the details i'll leave a link below for those for that and leave all the you can check out all the details for that too okay these kits are largely uh, bead weaving projects uh, all from different bead shows between like 2002 and 2010 and i think i mentioned last video right that we used to we owned a big beautiful bead store, but I also owned and produced a national bead show called the Puget Sound Bead Festival for 15 years. And we'd have instructors come from all over the country and teach classes. And this is uh, a good example of the kinds of classes they taught. And so these instructors are like our industry's rock stars, right? All of them are published authors um, by, by publishing houses, not self-published. And, uh, again, kind of recognized nationally for their talent and for their designs and, and teaching. And so um, I've worked with all of them. They're fabulous instructors. And I went through all of these kits to make sure they're all complete. All the materials are there and all the instructions are there. And it's a wide variety of techniques, anywhere from uh, peyote, uh, herringbone, brick stitch, rhinagle weave, in the belly, uh, freeform, sculptural, kind of peyote, tubular and flat, and kind of every variation in there from very um, 
kind of beginner level to advanced. And so just like the Seed Beats, it's a very comprehensive uh, collection, I think. And it will be available as one lot, you know, for now, uh, for uh, one, you know, lucky person that, that wants Seed Bead projects forever, <laughs> for a long time. This will keep someone busy for a long time. But we are going to go through them one by one so you can see uh, what's going on with each one and how lovely they are. And I just use the original price on them. Uh, it's just easier. Uh, these kits are priced anywhere between like $50, $60 and up to like $170. The value is partially in materials, of course, but but that's not the majority of it. It is in the instructions and, and on all the labor that's involved, right? Because, you know, someone took the time to uh, not just create this beautiful, you know, design, but then sit and figure out, you know, the pattern and then sit and write it all out for you, you know, step by step, and then sit and make the kit for you, putting together a perfect color palette and the exact number of beads and all materials you're gonna need and then label them all. This is a gorgeous kit. And so it's a very, and I promise you, as someone who largely does kits now of their designs, it's a very labor intensive uh, endeavor. And so all of these include the materials to make that kit, but then you have the um, instructions forever, you know, to continue making them. They're largely, uh, they largely use seed beads, and so that's very easy, pretty easy to find to make, you know, more of them. Okay, I'm gonna maybe go through kind of the ones in the middle and uh, quickly, and then I can, they will have more room to kind of spread out some of the larger ones a little bit more. Okay, let me do, where's, oh, we'll do this one. So these first couple are, um, by Diane Fitzgerald. Here's this necklace. I have Apollo. Diane Fitzgerald is extremely well known in the beauty industry. She's definitely, you know, our equivalent of uh, uh, Madonna or someone, right? Um, so there's, I have a couple different kits by her. All the, this one used a lot of Swarovski crystal. Uh, Diane, here's like one of her books. If you're, if you follow this whole estate, you'll know that there's also, uh, there was a ton of books available as well. And so I've uh, been, I've sold most of them, but um, Diane probably has, I don't know, probably a dozen titles published by Inouye Press and Colin Bach and Mark. So very well known, very, again, just well-respected instructor. And um, one thing I didn't mention is when I first right i got this collection from uh, this customer a few years ago now and when the kits some of them about 50 percent of them have already been started right because she didn't buy them to look at them right so they've been started and i right, just want the little eyes from that's very pretty and uh and originally i had said to her i'm not sure about the ones that are already started you know people like things you know, completely new not untouched and uh, she said, really? Because in quilting circles, people love to finish projects you've started. And I'm not a quilter, but I believe her. And the more that I was sorting through these, I can totally see that. Why wouldn't you want someone to have already started this, these very time consuming projects for you? You know, and worst case, I guess if you really don't want to, you could take it apart and start it again yourself because the beads don't go bad. Um, you're just wasting thread really and the, believe me there's plenty of thread to go around in all these so um, you could do it again yourself if you wanted to so here's another one this is these are by nancy eha this is a little um pretty beaded uh dragonfly and she's used these susan clark dichroic buttons whoopsie there's three kits in here there's two more uh, one's blue one's purple one's kind of a dichroic bronze and you know once you made these they could be they could be a brooch but they could also be um there's fabric on the back so you could totally sew it as a pendant for a necklace or as a focal for a bracelet uh i just i think they're lovely and of course nancy eha is of course a, a also a really well known uh instructor this is her book off the beaten path it's like a staple book in our industry it's been around forever She's a fabulous, you know, instructor. Um, oh, I didn't 
So those kids, Diane's kids were definitely around 100 or 120. I think Nancy's are probably 65 each. This, uh, that's a very pretty pendant by Marcia de Coster. Uh, there's a kid, again, used a lot of Swarovski crystals. And all these, all of them are coming some kind of protective sleeve, of course, with all the instructions there. And the colors are beautiful. Um, you know, each of these kits were picked out in different purples and blues and very popular colors. Let's do, I'm trying to make a little more space. Um, Jeanette Cook, I love Jeanette, she's one of my very favorite teachers, made these fun fish. There's two kits of them, it's called Fat Fantasy Fish. It makes this fun fish. There's all the kits and beads in there. Once it's made, it can be a pendant, it can be an ornament. Um, you know, so very fun, very colorful. It's a sculptural peyote project. Um, I'm pretty sure I have, right? That's what Jeanette's really well known for. There's one of her books. So just a really, she's a great instructor, a professional instructor. This is, this necklace is by Laura Andrews. Variations of a theme. It's a little knotted, uh, round, uh, peyote. There's all the, you know, blues and purples. That's a lovely kit. And I think Laura book. Here's another little sculpture of peyote. This is a box. Oh, I think it's a hairy bow. There's a little kit in there by Vicki Starr. It's in 2002. Like I said, all of them have the years and a lot of them have the uh, prices. That's one of Vicki Starr's books. Uh, I just, again, trying to show you that they're really, these instructors, these are not just random kits you'd find, I don't know, at random stores. Um, they're very high quality kits from renowned um, instructors in our industry. And speaking of, I'm going to go through Cynthia Rutledge's kits because these, she's just one of my very favorite um, instructors and I love these designs. So let's go through some of these there let me go around very I just they're very romantic look at that pendant it's just stunning um, it's called Milady's brooch it could be a brooch or a pendant you the bail but it's all these beautiful CZs and there's a big pearl down here and so you can see in the kit right uh, where everything's labeled it's gold filled sterling or gold filled findings um, that's kind of one thing. All these are using sterling silver or 14 karat gold filled findings because that's when precious metals were pretty inexpensive. Let me leave this one up here, maybe. This Tibetan bangle is Cynthia's as well. Again, these are really, you know, thorough instructions. That's so pretty. And the, the color of the kit is not always going to match the picture, but um, most of them, but not all. But here's one that she started... This uses the big shell pearls and all the delicas and things in there for this bangle. That's so pretty. I just love them. And Cynthia's kits were definitely 160, 150, 160. Again, because they're so well done and use high quality materials. Look how pretty this is, a stepping stones necklace. And this is before Photoshop was kind of perfected. So this is, it's an open weave. I know it may be hard to tell, but uh, there's some pieces that are already made. See how it's, it's already like an open weave with um, some CZs, it's so pretty. So, That's gorgeous, and that little centerpiece is already started as well. It's well woven around, and then the rest of the kit has all the the gemstones, the sterling settings, and delicas. Everything's marked. I mean, so the needles, thread, very complete kits. I mean, that's they're really professional, well done. Okay. Let's do this lovely cuff. This is uh, Sherry Serafinini um, Crystals and Cuff. This one's already been started as well on the fabric. And then uh, it's a lovely 
color story. It's a gorgeous handout. This is Sherry also has a great book. Um, look at this beautiful hardcover by Lark uh, Publishing. I think it's almost the same bracelet on the cover, right? So this is a gorgeous book. And uh, so similar design. I think this was about $150 too. I mean, look, imagine like designing that and then putting together that whole pattern, writing it all up so someone else could make it. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of work. Move these over. And then this is gorgeous. Laura McCabe does some beautiful pieces as well. Look at, here's her little folder with her work. And this kit is this Georgian Jewels necklace. Look how gorgeous. And it comes in this cute little tin. And one part of it was already started. If you can see that in the colors, it's so pretty. And here's all the CZs and Delicas. Again, everything labeled. There's a whole spool of thread in there. So I just, I can't state enough the value and the quality, you know, of these, these kids. This is Flirtily, or Flirt Leslie by Leslie Frazier, I guess, uh, that has the little flower and then the strands, all the crystals and things are in here. The big flower's already been started for you, which is fabulous. There's a little bead mat in there as well. Um, so that's a beautiful kit. I think that's a, a gorgeous necklace. This is a cute little bracelet. This was purchased at a bead store in Fresno called Bead Artistry. And it's not so much seed beading, but all the you know beads, everything's in there, instructions. Uh, and that was $54. It's a very cute one. Let me scoot that out of the way. This necklace by Hyde Peterson that uses a tubular rod, or writing a weave with that tassel. Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So all pretty on the same color story. Kind of bronzes, with little pearls down here. So that's a lovely piece. Let me scoot that over down here maybe. And then I want to show Hybe's um, butterflies. She had all three sizes. So they're just different sizes. And they can be made into different things. Pendants, um, brooches, barrettes, whatever, all the findings and things are in there. Uh, that there's three of these kits. They're all complete. And then I included this one, this in the belly, because all the instructions are here. But this one is the only one that's like almost done. The project's almost complete. And I wasn't gonna include it, but, and in fact, I almost just kept it to finish it myself. But it's so pretty. This is in the belly bracelet. The only thing that has to be completed on it are the little embellishment of the pearls, right? There's a hidden clasp in there, right? That's so darling. I just think it's precious. And so she was almost complete, you know, almost done with it, just needs the rest of the embellishment. And it's, I just love it. So this is included in there, you know, once something's completed and made, now all of a sudden, this is worth you know three times uh, the cost of the kit at least, right? Because of all the labor it took to make that. So that's included in there. It's a gosh, it's a lovely piece. Someone really will enjoy that. That's the twenty kits. You can see there, and then there's some bonus stuff I want to show you. Like I said, you can see close-up photos on um, the web listing, where these again are all like listed out by name and um, year and, and instructor and that kind of thing. But then there's also in this, in her collection, I found six more instruction sheets, right? A piece that she's obviously made. And like I mentioned, instructions are really the where the value is when it comes to these kits. So there's another, this was so pretty, this was by Jeanette Cook, this pendant, and it was $142 at the time, at the time. Again, we're talking about 15 years ago. 
This is a gorgeous piece. Uh, this Elizabethan necklace by Cynthia Rutledge. You can kind of see it. It's so pretty. So, right, so largely all the, these just use largely seed beads. Um, but so you can always find the materials, you know, to make these. And this little pearl ruffle by Charlene Abrams. There's another, this whole uh, CZ, or CZ, uh, uh, CD by uh, Diane Fitzgerald. And then um, sculptural peyote beads by Jeanette and this net on net bracelet. So there's six sets of instructions. And I also found two different sets of bead palettes in Delicas that are size 11s and 15s. I could not match up um, kind of what kit they, they came from, but there I, I left them. I wanted to include them because they're already in a beautiful usable palette. And these are really common popular sizes used in all kits. And so that's a little bonus. And then this little tray too. And I realized there's not a lot of, you know, dollar value, but I think this is so cute. Right, it allows you to put the seat beads in there and then that lid goes up there so they don't spill. Right? Isn't that cute? So I wanted to be able to include kind of everything uh, in this fun lot. Uh, and if I hadn't mentioned it's over uh, $2,000, like $2,200 is the original price from 15, 20 years ago. I didn't, I, just for ease of calculation, I just left it at the those prices and so it's clearly worth more than they'd be worth more than that today uh and that's it that's all the information about this beautiful lot you can definitely leave any questions in the comments or email me and uh that's it thanks so much for joining me today uh, please like subscribe to the channel if you're not i do do some some of these you know videos when i have uh i'm always doing estate sales but I don't always make videos about them. I just, I like to when I think it's appropriate. But we do always have new designs and techniques and things coming out. So uh, I'd love to have you be a part of our Modern Jewelry Makers family. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, sparkle brightly like the star that you are. Peace.